So, hello people, how you going? And have a look at these little bad girls. Yes, these are Austrian 1000 Krona banknotes. And they were issued in Austria-Hungary Empire. But, but this series here was just uh, used for Austria. And they were uh, printed about 1919. Even though the date in the banknote says then here, 1902. That's just when the this type of series was first issued. And if you have a look at the size of the banknotes, here's a Hong Kong $100. Yeah, they're pretty big. That's why they are folded in four parts to put in someone's wallet. You have to be able to fold it. Okay, these banknotes are pretty damaged. And you can tell it was issued for Austria because it has Deutsch Österreich which just means German Austria and Austria just means Eastern Empire Uster is East, East and Reich is Empire <laughs> now you have this female figure she is what you call an allegorical figure it means that she, she is a person she doesn't represent anyone in particular but she represents an idea and this idea on this banknote is she represents Austria okay a beautiful patterning designed to uh, prevent counterfeiting because at the time you would have had to uh, make plates for these banknotes I suppose you could have acid etched but it would have been a bit harder as there was no scanners or anything back then. Okay, you have um, the denomination in uh, different languages. I believe that's Italian. Uh, that's probably Serbian. That could be Serbian or Macedonian. And this top one here is probably Czech or Slovak, and that's probably the other one. Not too sure what that one is, but it looks like it's a. Uh, I don't know. Whatever language. Uh, this is Romanian. So, Macedonian. One of these could have been Macedonian. Or Slovenian. That could be Slovenian. But I'm not too sure. I didn't actually look it up. Okay, and you have. um. See, this was issued by the. Österreichische and Ungarische Bank, Austria Hungary Bank. Just say that this is legal tender. Gegen Budapest. So Vienna is um, Vienna, Budapest is the capital of um, Hungary. Doesn't say anything about gold. But I'd say these, these would have been ch exchangeable in gold coins, but the highest gold coin I think was um, 100 kroner. So if we turn over the back, you can see the back of this note is exactly the same as the other side. In the original ones, the other side of the banknote would have had hung Hungarian on it, but I do not have that issue. I'll get it sooner or later. And this one has beautiful patination on it. Now it's pretty hard to find out what these patterns are, where they come from. Most likely it's just some artistic design. So you have like flowers here. And flowers here, so obviously it represents a garden or something like that. Could be in the shape of a tree. In thousand, and it has that woman, the allegorical figure again. If we have a look at it close up, looks beautiful. So if you do get a chance to buy one of these banknotes, I, I suggest you do. They're not bad, they're quite good. And if we have a look at the close up on her, hmm. Okay, she's quite intricately designed here. It would be very hard to counterfeit back in 19, uh, 1910s. And 
these banknotes do not have any watermark. Even though watermarks were used on um, stamps from the 1860s, they only started to occur on banknotes at this time. Like the German 100 mark at this time did have a watermark on it. Okay, so the uh, Austrian 1,000 krone. And at the time in 1902, that would have been a lot of money. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoy these bank notes. And please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.